And to me, rom romance and emotions are like a way to go around life. It's like clothes. You know? Clothes are only there to help you. It's like an alphabet. You're writing a story. You're writing your own story. You're writing a letter to a man, to a woman, to society. The closing, it's really the departure for, for creating a piece of art, you know, like a, an atmosphere, a world, a universe. It's to engage in conversation, it's to engage people. I would just say, let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that little, that little piece here, I, I, I could talk about it for hours. Well, Why? It's really nothing, but it's like the essence of a fun woman. This is very like Barbie dollish. I, I, I wish she was my size because I would wear something like this all the time. I think that um, having party dresses in the, and wear them in the daytime is really good, almost like a, it's very therapeutic. Why wait for the night? At night, I'm tired, I never go out. <laughs> and so that's why, if you feel happy, I think the party dress should be worn in the daytime. And just by wearing it, you just walk through life like life is a party and you're happy. But yeah, it's Even just shoo shoo sha sha. See, I mean, I wish I could, I was a, a director because I would make this dress into like a little animation. It would just dance and, <laughs> and be happy and take trips over the world. Like, la la la, look, I'm going crazy. crazy. People are always call me crazy. I don't know why, because I'm, I'm really not crazy. French, I would say where I lived, I grew up in Saint-Tropez in the 70s. And trust me, Saint-Tropez in, in the 70s basically was the, the, uh, the crib for great style, great fashion, people who transgress and but get away with it. People who are beautiful because their style was just the way they were, the way they would walk around, the way they would talk to each other. My influence probably come from that, you know, people, my people, you know, like, like maybe transgressing and getting away with a lot of stuff. But just overall, like having fun. And the blazer, this blazer actually I used to sell uh, in my store, in my boutique, um, men's clothing. Uh, it's a great mini dress actually. I like men's stuff, particularly like I look like a woman so that's why. You know like a rescued like item, something that I do cherish. But then I also have like little cute things like this, like Victorian made out of little beads, it's very Prada. Amazing. What do you think Prada it's so take Prada. its idea from, like this kind exactly. of stuff? And then I have like number of like really cute stuff, like, I sh you know, I never have real opportunities. This is like a gold clutch that with, with rhinestone and it's so like, you know, beautiful. I, mm. I have like little things like, like a Victorian, you know, neck piece color, which I think it's also like, such a nice idea to use as like a um, like, um, piece of jewelry almost. Of course, an open, you know, um, cleavage, uh, not with this dress. And I had this vision, and it was exactly what I did here, it was exactly what I wanted to do. Like, I saw it like this, and I made it like this. It's not about name when you get dressed. I mean, and if women think it's about name, then they are mistaken, and I should say on the door, no photo, no coffee, no Chanel, no Dior. Just like women with character, please come in. And I'm just, you know, driving through life. And there I am in Williamsburg. And uh, was it my fate? And many times people say, but why don't you just go back to your country? I can't really answer this question because I feel like my country is wherever I am. I carry that culture with me.